Okay guys, now I have a uh, little special um, treat to show you. This is um, an album that came out in the former Soviet Union back in 1991. It was actually done and pressed in Georgia, the state of Georgia, by Anthony Topillo and a friend of his. Anthony Topillo is uh, very well known in the former Soviet Union as a sound engineer, an audio engineer, and a big uh, Beatle maniac. Actually, he as the majority of people back in the Soviet Union, the Beatles were probably the only Western band that was definitely banned if they uh, would catch you bringing into the Soviet Union a Beatles records, Beatles albums. You can get in big trouble and actually almost even go to jail for that. It's funny because other bands were permitted, like the Rolling Stones and that, but it seems like the Soviets knew that the Beatles were trendsetters and were changing the world with their music and their philosophy, and they were prohibited even though they are to this day and were and they are the biggest band in, in Russia, always were number one. And um, he, Antony Topilo, back to him, decided that, well, you know, he wanted to press the album. It was 1991, and in this case, what was happening was that uh, Russia had changed. There was a perestroika already, and it was about to become Russia. The Soviet Union was crumbling and collapsing, so he probably thought, okay, now I have a chance to actually release this album here. And it's very interesting to note that uh, he only pressed uh, 500 copies of it. And the cool thing was it was Sgt. Pepper's only Hearts Club Band. And then it was Revolver was the other album that he, he pressed. He did a double album. He did a two for a gatefold. And very interesting to note that uh, he was able to press it. And the funny thing and what makes it, I think, very collectible, not only is a limited quantity of pressings and only 500 were made in in the Soviet Union in the uh, state of Georgia, but that actually you will now see that in the cover he and his friend HK are in the picture actually. HK uh, usurps or removes Karl Marx, <laughs> the founder of communism with George Engels, and uh, Henri Topillo is next to uh, Fred Astaire actually in the picture, and it's a great thing to have actually. The other side you see the album cover and the record revolver and it's a little bit different too if you can see you will see the variations of it so it's interesting to know that they did release an album like that in the former soviet union it was very limited release of course they released other albums also of the beatles basically i think almost all of them have been released in the uh, former soviet union in russia with further ado i'm about to show you the russian sergeant pepper and russian revolver albums done by andre topilo Topillo. Here we go, and this is the album. As you can see, you can check it out. You can see that it's actually in Russian, which is Sergeant Pepper. If you see the lettering, that lettering is Russian all the way. And I said that Andre Topillo and his friend were in this album. Andre Topillo is actually next to Fred Astaire and in the middle between him and Edgar Allan Poe. He's a bearded fella here that you will see. This guy is Andre Topillo. He's in between Fred Astaire and Edgar Allan Poe. And his friend HK. He's actually in between W.C. Fields, and I forgot who the other person is, right over here. I'll show you exactly where he's at. That's him. Here he is, the bearded fellow, too. He's right in between W.C. Fields. There he is. Yep, he's a little bit up here. Yep, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There's H.K. That's the guy with the beard. So they put themselves on the album cover. Quite funny, and it's quite cool actually to notice and there is the Anfon label you see it there that is a label and as you see Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band in Russian on the other side of the gatefold is like we said Revolver hence the lettering in Russian too a Revolver and as you can see the cover has its variances its differences from the western cover of uh, Revolver and the inside is quite interesting you'll see the Beatles Sergeant Pepper but it's also of course in Russian the actual gate okay, for the lyrics that says the Beatles that's um, assuming that is revolver and you can see it in Russian and here is Sergeant Pepper also in Russian it, uh, which I understood Russian must be a very interesting language to learn so uh, here it is as you can see quite interesting and the actual album and it comes actually you have to also see the uh, lyric sheet that comes with it it's completely <laughs> Russian also there it is. The sheet is totally in Russian. 
very, very interesting, and it has, of course, I love that it has names of everybody there, and the lettering is in Russian also, of course. You can see that in the back side also, the story of history of Sergeant Pepper in Russian. There's a lyric sheet, and the actual vinyls are pretty heavy, and sound actually good. Of course, I wish it was a mono version of Sgt. Pepper, or Andre got the stereo version of it. 789-987 was the label that he put on his own Anfon label, and they are not bad. They weigh pretty good, and it was quite an interesting piece, to say the least, what they did in the former... Soviet Union by this gentleman who loved the Beatles and the labor of love and actually he released it in Russia um, I don't know if you can say it's an official release it's probably more of a bootleg release but still it sounds very good and you know if EMI wasn't going to release it in Russia somebody had to release this masterpiece album there so I do hope you enjoyed it and a little bit of the background story on, on, on the founders of the Anfon label and hope you love it about the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper, and Revolver. This is Voco saying, hey, have a great one.